Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. If you're thinking it looks like it is super dark out and I'm in a hurry, then you're right. I was laying in bed minding my own business and the vet phone and said I'm on my way. And I'm like, oh crap. So I look like I just woke up. You should bring your phone down. I did brush my teeth. I'm headed down to the barn. It is pure mud out here, you guys, from all that snow. But it is disappearing. And look at how pretty in the morning. Look how much rain it rains. Hello, we are in a hurry, ladies. Good, you didn't smell up the barn. Oh, man. That day when you wake up and you're running from the get-go. All right, let's see. Penny Pickle. Yours first, because you're a slowpoke. Oh, why are you so rough with your water? The girls are headed down. It is amazing what you can accomplish when the vet is on the way. When the vet comes, I like to come down to the barn, clean it all up and make it like beautiful and make it beautiful and neat and awesome. Except for when, oh, good morning. Except for the days when you gotta get your horse clean and fed before the vet arrives. So yeah, that is the goal, you guys. This is me on a stressful day. Chop, 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 chop. Right, go throw hay, go throw hay, chop, chop, girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are not the, what do you call it? The person who stands around and orders everyone what to do? That's Gabby, who, by the way, is not here yet. Oh, you need help with the knife? Who did this one up here? Oh. Oh, ouch. I just chopped my finger. Oh, Gabby's already done that. Okay, there you go. And finally, the girl in black. The girl who manages the barn. The girl that does it all. The Gabby. The girl that screams Hey, we should brand you the Gabby. What? I don't Oh, thank you for doing that. Did you want you? Mm -hmm. Oh, good girl. <laughs> so we didn't bring the dogs down because... First of all, Daisy won't come down unless she has her food. Yeah, Daisy That's won't why do I don't anything. Take her outside yeah. In the morning. I just yeah. Her. No, you have to take her out to the party theater. Right, but that dog doesn't do that. And, and she I, just did that. Yeah, well, it's because you're mean and she's like, oh, I better do what this girl says. But yeah, for. Just let her out where the little dogs go. Oh, that's good. That's oh, a that good one. Yeah. So, but basically, it's true. And Sophie's dog it does not ever just go to the bathroom and then eat. She has to eat before she can do anything. Like I know. She runs to the kitchen. That's the first thing she does. I know. Okay, so Love let's the let the door. ponies out and then we will put Penny in the cross ties and we'll close the stalls and our vet won't know that behind these doors is a big disgusting mess. <laughs> there you go, Miss Gracie girl. This is a part of having horses. When you're sound asleep, well, I wasn't sound asleep, I was doing comments, but when you're in I bed, when you're in bed, and all of a sudden your phone rings and you're like, crap. And you're in bed doing comments and all, like we never, our vet never comes here first lately. Like back in the day, he used to come all the time to us first, but it's usually like who's ever an emergency comes first. Next. Mom, my cat's up there. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, Grace. I was dreaming. What were you dreaming? I don't know. Oh yeah, I had to pay seventy dollars for something. A bit. No. What then? It was like a bunch of things. So maybe you're meant to go gro Christmas shopping today. Your clothes. Oh yeah, clothes are weird. Clothes and are like, bad. When you're a kid, having to buy for clothes is terrible. All right, I'm gonna put like Penny in the cross tie. Gabby's already here, mucking stalls. Um. Oh wait, I have to tell them some good news. All right, before the vet cut. So I, I try not to vi video our vet stuff anymore and because then, I feel like it's an invasion of his privacy. Then, Just wait. But I just wanted to tell you guys before I forget, because I know I will forget, Sam's work is going back to COVID times where he only works a few days a week. So pretty soon, you guys, Sam will be home with us every single day. Okay. No. Then, Sam will be home with us every other day. And then, um, <laughs> she just... The vet's on his way! Oh, that was in your dream? No, you oh, did it. I know, I did. I woke up, jumped out of bed and said, the vet's on his way! And 
you know who was out of the bed first? Me. Fastest? Gabby, she was in the bathroom. No. Oh. I was changing my pants. Oh, I know, but Gabby was already in the bathroom. Gabby was asleep. Oh. Hello, Lex. My cat's not coming down. Hello. Oh, but before I go, I do want to point out, look at how kind and calm my horse is. She's never been this, like, when we first got her and the other horses left her, she was not calm. She's such a good pony. All right, see you guys in a minute. So... I have no idea all the stuff that we talked about. So basically, if you guys remember, the vet came today just to reassess Penny. So basically, she was like super grouchy, unhappy horse. Probably because she was just getting used to being here. I don't know what it was. But anyways, um, he came back to just reassess and make sure that everything we did in the beginning was working for her. Uh, her eyes. So, like... <laughs> Look at her. Poor Penny. I'm going to address the things that we talked about. Her girthiness is almost gone. Almost completely gone. The only time she even acts like she's interested in the saddle or the girth is when I touch the girth. Not when I tighten it. Often she's distracted, paying attention to something else. I tighten the girth. She doesn't even care. Um, so... And also while he was here, she, for one second, she was like, oh, I don't want to do this now. I'm going out with my friends. And she turned to her side and she did like a snap down, which is her go-to reaction. Like she pins her ears and snaps her mouth when she doesn't want to do something. And um, anyway, he thinks that all of her change is from the ulcer medicine that she's been on this whole entire time. He thinks like the white reason that she's calmed down, she's... She's mellowed out. She has had like 90% change in her disposition is from the medicine already. Yeah. So, so he gave me um, some uh, thing to try to maintain um, a healthy ulcer issue, to maintain a healthy belly. He also wants her on an omega-3 um, supplement, which I'm going to go buy. He also wants her, so we talked about it, her eyes both times. It's not something super bad, but they're itchy. I showed him like how they are itchy. And um, so he wants to, like, it's not an infection. It's not like, it could, it's, it's either an allergy. It's probably an allergy, just like I thought. Uh, so we're going to try an antihistamine and see, because she is itchy in different parts of her body too. She's always like biting and scratching herself so we're gonna try an antihistamine for her eyes he like you guys know how she has like parts of her eyelid missing he thinks well he suggested that it's probably because it's so itchy that she scratched her eyes and messed it up but anyways so the only other major thing that we discussed is that like you know the bit problem which we talked about before her teeth are okay she doesn't have like any big hooks or anything so today we looked again and it, like really paid attention to other things. Last time he was here, we just looked to see if she needed her teeth loaded. This time we looked and she actually has an abnormality in her teeth. And basically some teeth on this side are longer than the teeth on this side. So, so I don't know if that is what's causing like her to be funny about the bit or he says probably not. But anyways, he ended up filing it. He ended up filing those teeth. He said that it's big enough abnormality that he can't do it all at once so he filed those while he was at it he did file the rest of her teeth because he had to do like sedate her and do all that stuff anyway so she got her teeth filed um even though she didn't necessarily need it completely done we just did it because we were in there because she needed the front of her teeth done yeah she got a power float see like this is one spot no maybe not but she like no that's not it but she has little puck marks puckered marks all over her skin fur all the time from being itchy so anyways penny was awesome she pinned her ears two times and he was like hey don't you pin your ears at me and i was like hey like she pinned her ears because she wanted to go out with her friends and that was like that's amazing for her she used to have her ears flat back all the time and she took so much comfort in me, you guys. When he gave her the injection to sedate her, she leaned into me, stood completely still, was like the best horse. Like, she's such a good horse, you guys. So, anyways, everything's good. On the Penny front, he thinks that the Meprazole is doing wonders for her. And um, that we're going to move on into a supplement now. And... Basically, I just wanted him to come and reassure me that she's okay because sometimes she's not happy and she is a lot happier than she ever was before and she's getting better and better all the time and so I think I just need to keep on doing what I'm doing. I had reassurance from the vet. She's better. She should be better even now 
anyway, that's it. That's it for my vet. Uh, she can't go out for a little while until she starts to come out of this. Out of this, because she can't eat until she's done. You're going to feel like a whole new woman with front feet, with front teeth, Pen. You are. All right, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. I addressed, like, I readdressed a bunch of things. We talked about a bunch of things. He didn't seem alarmed. He, it bothers him that she's, that she has unhappy moments too. It but like, nobody wants to see an unhappy horse. For sure. But we're going to keep going. Keep figuring things out. And if I need to call him back, I will. Last night, Gabby rode a Chino. And the horse is a sweater. He's a sweater. Dun, da, da, da. So we are going to the store to get a blade for our stuff and some cooling spray. And Gabby's going to start, Gabby's going to... Um, Gabby's gonna cut him. He, she's gonna do a trace cut on him. When the vet was here, so he said didn't, she doesn't have great confirmation. I was like, oh, how rude! Like, isn't it rude when people say things like that? Like, your horse doesn't have good confirmation. Like, yeah. <laughs> what if your horse doesn't? So rude. Yeah, she doesn't. Okay, so fine. No huge deal. But anyway, so then I was looking it up. Like, what the heck did he mean by that? <laughs> so then I read that the best horses have short backs. Short backs and what? Long necks. Anyways, clearly I am a kidding. I understand what confirmation is. I understand that dogs and horses and animals have different confirmation. I'm like, look at this. Now he went down. Oh, are they running in? They're running in. Oh, you guys can't see them. Gabby ran to give them food and they all just went running towards the barn and I was thinking, and I was thinking that they were running away from her, but they were running to her. So that's okay. It is okay. The world is okay. Yeah, Gabby says there's definitely a resemblance in Molly and Holly in laying down for strangers to pet them. On their stomach. Okay, so, the thing that I got dad is Noble Outfitters. Noble Outfitters, that's cool. Gabby's in love with the struck hats. I like this. They also got a... I like that, it's got a funny neck. So I'm at the point in my Christmas shopping journey where Gabby loves everything and I can easily buy her stuff and Sophie doesn't like anything. I want the I white one though. I like okay. it too. Is this the right one? Yeah. So pretty. So why are you into white now? Because I it's love the white one. Always wanted white It's a gel seat. I want a gel seat. And Sometimes I feel like my seat is a gel seat. It goes Lots under of padding. the saddle. This goes underneath. And then goes all the way down and clips under there. Is it like super soft though? So it's like yeah, it's nice. Underneath. I like this. I like a little bag attached to your saddle, like an actual bag attached to your saddle, like a saddle bag. That it. comes off. I know that's not what. Cooler, I wanted. You oh, know what? Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. It's not very warm. You know what I like? Loves it. Oh, that's a nice one. It's a nice cooler. I wanted that one for Gracie too. Like if we could get Gracie's size and oh. That might fit her now. This is 49, 53, 57, 60. And 60. What size would she be? Gracie's a 60. Really? Yeah. But that's miniature size. So it's it's this pony. Be the biggest miniature that's size. miniature. Well, Gabby, you don't. You have a quarter sheet. It's the green it's one, a right? Ruby red. Uh, ruby red. I really what want quarter you sheet? to see this. You have the green quarter sheet. Um, I think I do. I have it, but it goes on under like over top of your saddle pad and under your saddle so you need like a real quarter sheet we're getting this for someone that's cool no Mom. that's a thinny blanket look and then they have i pins. do not lift need it up and let's feel it two it. coolers Mom. uh it's like a rain sheet oh sometimes when we get home from shopping i just sit in the car for a long time and just relax especially if it's warm out and i go on my phone and i just do stuff like in the car by myself because it's the only time of the day that I have by myself is that crazy come on admit it do any of you other moms out there do the same thing I'm getting text by Sophie right now saying come inside mom come on mom come now mom so I gotta go well, hello hey sweetness look I brought you an apple I want you to take a bite can you do it good still not perfect oh that was a tiny bite oh Hold on there now. Don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. Take a bite. Good girl. Holy cow. 
She came out of that anesthetic pretty, uh... What is happening? Oh, is it green? I'm choke on that. When I was a little girl, not little, but when I was a teenager or young teenager, um, my mom would my mom would buy all these presents. We had like I had so many kids growing up in my family, and oh, you are muddy feet, girl. And my mom would buy so many presents, and she'd have all these presents to wrap. And every like everyone's every few days, she would set me up. Don't run me down. Every few days, I would set up shop in front of the TV and I would get all the presents that she had in boxes with people's names on them. She'd like put them in boxes so I couldn't see them. And I'd spend like an afternoon, like a whole Saturday afternoon wrapping presents and I loved it. Well now, Sophie's taking over that for me and she spent the last two days wrapping presents. So I'm just filling up the water. You'd think we would do this during the day, huh? Mm -hmm. Look, they have so much hay they didn't even eat. I opened the door for Sam to come in, and this girl was so fast behind him, I couldn't keep her out. All right, we're done now. All right, be nice. Be nice. Wait, oh, crappy. <laughs> you see her ears, though? She'd be grouchy. All right, move in there, Penny. Good girl. Good girl, you're okay. You're okay. Yes. See, she still does it. She's a messy eater. Maybe that's all that it is. So I put some supplements in her in her food. She's got oil, omega three oil. It's a balanced thing of all the omegas, and some anti-inflammatory powder. I have the weirdest feeling that she's gonna pick through what she wants and leave the rest. Yes, are you going to do that? Why are you grouchy today? I spent this whole day bragging about how happy you've been and how much better you've been and now you're just a grouchy old girl. Guys, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. We are headed out to do a little bit of shopping. I'm serious about getting all this done. I like to get this done by December the 1st so that I can sit back and relax and enjoy the holiday season, especially if things close down. But I wanted to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving and say that I'm super thankful for all of you in my life. It means so much to me that you guys support me with Penny. Having a horse is amazing, but having her and sharing, being able to share her with other people makes her even more amazing, so much more exciting. I know Thanksgiving right now is just in the States it's an American thing, but I wanted to wish you guys all a happy holiday season this year. 2020 has been crazy, and this is the end of it, hopefully. But I just wanted you to all know that you're in my prayers and in my thoughts, and that I love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. See you tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?